Lesson 2. More about numbers. Predecessor and successor. The number just before a given number is its predecessor. We subtract 1 from the number to get its predecessor. Number, successor. The number just after a given number is its successor. We add 1 to the number to get its successor. Examples. Find the predecessor and successor and write in the adjoining table. Let the number be 728. Its predecessor, 728 minus 1, is equal to 727. Its successor, 728 plus 1, is equal to 729. Predecessor, 727. Number, 728. Successor, 729. Let the number be 1350. Its predecessor 1350 minus 1 is equal to 1349. Its successor is equal to 1350 plus 1 is equal to 1351. Predecessor, number, successor, 1350. Let the number be 3569. Its predecessor, 3569 minus 1, is equal to 3568. Its successor, 3569 plus 1, 3570. Predecessor, number, successor, 3,569. Comparison of numbers. Do you remember the hungry fish? It always opens its mouth to eat the bigger number of fish. Here, 100 is greater than 99. Let us learn to compare the numbers. When the number of digits are different, the number which has more digits is always greater. Example, T H H T O. Four digits, 1, 5, 6, 7. Three digits, 3, 6, 0. So, 1567 is more than 360. When the number of digits are same, a. We compare the digits at the thousands place first. Example. T H H T O. 3 5 7 0. 1 5 7 0. As 3000 is more than 1000. So 3570 is more than 1570. Ascending and descending order. Ascending means going up from the smallest to the biggest number. Descending means coming down from the biggest to the smallest number. We compare the numbers and then arrange them in ascending or descending order. Example. Arrange the numbers 2136, 4136, 3136 and 6136 in ascending and descending order. First, we arrange the given numbers in place value chart. Comparing the numbers, we get 2136 is less than 3136, which is less than 4136, which is again less than 6136 in ascending order in descending order forming smallest and greatest numbers I have three digits 4 7 and 5 how do I arrange these digits to get the smallest and the greatest number 
Let us try. To get the smallest number, we arrange the digits in ascending order as 4, 5 and 7. So the smallest number is 4, 5, 7. To get the greatest number, we arrange the digits in descending order as 7, 5 and 4. So the greatest number is 7, 5, 4. Let us take four digits, 5, 3, 2 and 9. To get the smallest number, we arrange the digits in ascending order as 2, 3, 5 and 9. So the smallest number is 2, 3, 5, 9. To get the greatest number, we arrange the digits in descending order as 9, 5, 3 and 2. So the smallest number is 9, 5, 3, 2. Rounding off numbers to the nearest tenth. Look at the numbers 27 and 34 on the number line. 27 is in between 20 and 30, but 27 is closer to 30 than to 20. So 27 is rounded off to 30. 34 is in between 30 and 40. But 34 is closer to 30 than to 40. So, 34 is rounded off to 30. So, the basic rule for rounding off numbers to the nearest tens is to look at the digit at the ones place. If the digit at the ones place is less than 5, we round off to the lower number. If the digit at the ones place is 5 or more, we round off to the upper number. Even and odd numbers. Numbers with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in the ones place are even numbers. For example, 10, 12, 24, 36, 48 are all even numbers. Numbers with 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 in the ones place are odd numbers. For example, 11, 23, 35, 47, 59 are all odd numbers. We can find out whether the sum of two numbers will be even or odd without actually adding the numbers. The sum of any two odd numbers is always even. For example, A, 45, odd plus 23 odd is equal to 68 even. 2. The sum of any two even numbers is always even. For example, A. 18 plus 22 is equal to 40. 3. The sum of an odd and an even number is an odd number. For example, A. 49 odd plus 32 even is equal to 81 odd. Skip counting in tens, hundreds and one thousands. Skip counting in tens. Look at these examples. 2290, 2300, 2310, 2320, 4580, 4590, 4600, 4610, 7178, 7188, 7198, 7208. Do you observe any pattern? Remember, just keep the ones column same, but watch out for the tens and hundreds column. Keep counting in one thousands. Look at these examples. 3490, 4490, 5490, 6490, 5999, 6999, 7999, 8999, 
6,775, 7,775, 8,775, 9,775. Do you observe any pattern? Remember, skip counting in 1,000s is the easiest. Keep all the columns same as only the 1,000s column will change.